Hey Leos, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B and this is brought to you by Nicole from Spiritual Guidance Academy. So uh, this is a special edition for her channel and her channel only. All right, uh, feel free to look into me for those that may be unfamiliar. I am a uh, tarot reader, also a uh, certified angel oracle reader. All right, Cancer. I mean, why would I just want to say Cancer? Could be working with that Cancerian energy. My Leos, my fire signs, rolling planet or star, if you will, is the uh, sun. So that makes you very special. That makes you very unique. And that makes people very jealous of you, doesn't it? So anyways, uh, this reading can go vice versa, not gender specific. Take what you can, leave the rest behind. I'll just pull you a couple of cards just to get a generalized idea of who I am. All right, so we have the snake here, shedding that old skin. That's also working with snake medicine here. All right, so, uh, you know, if you look into the reptiles, they shed away that. All right, so that pretty much speaks for itself. Shedding away your old self, raising your vibrational frequency to a level that um, may be very uncomfortable for you. You know, you could be feeling physical symptoms, um, feel almost like people are against you. Uh, also, too, this is kind of when that snake sheds its skin. And I know it sounds very scary when you're working with animal totems or animal spirit guides. There is a little bit of a difference. It, well, it depends on which culture that you look into, uh, but we'll just keep it simple. All right. So it's almost like you're facing this fear, whatever it may be in your life. You know, uh, it could be a fear of a loss of finances or you're possibly going through it. Fear of a loss of a relationship, fear of moving to a new place uh, could be a good fear, a fear of moving in with someone, a fear of taking that next step. So it really all depends on how you look on it, at, the, at it. This is moving into unfamiliar territory, you know, but the snake medicine is here to let you know that you do have what it takes to get through this. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable at first, whatever move this is. Maybe you're just like, well, geez, Carolyn, I'm not sure what move to even make or what the heck you're even talking about. All right. And that's perfectly normal. That's where that, you know, fear comes from. But like they say, you need to starve that fear and just kind of dive into it, try out new things. And, <laughs> you know, uh, Leo's also to be on the possible look out. Uh, I do understand that some of you are in relationships. Some of you are single, maybe ready to mingle. Some of you are in that possible, should I stay? Should I go? Maybe, maybe twin flame chaser runner phase, runner chaser phase, at least soulmate. Mow the lawns. You can see the snakes in the grass, you know, uh, and again, you don't have to be a reader or a psychic to know everyone's been hurt in the past. Uh, however, somebody here is really charming with what they say and their words. So just be careful. Doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, an ex. Doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you're in a relationship with or that in and out phase could be a friend of theirs or a friend of yours or a mutual friend. And they just want to see the drama. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what else, what else, what else do we have for our Leos when it comes to October 2020 or any messages I'm supposed to deliver. All right. So some of you could be working with that uh, water signs, which could be Scorpio, uh, also Pisces, maybe even. Um, wow. OK. Just I'm trying to keep these short here. All right. Okay. Uh, possibly. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. So water sign, earth sign, fire sign showed up. All right. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, earth sign. Uh, for those who may be unfamiliar, uh, earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, fire sign, other than yourself, Leo, 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 Aries, possibly Leo, Sagittarius. All right. So who's after your coinage here? <laughs> Some of you could very well be dealing with the Taurus. I'm not sure. Or there's a decision here that's just taking forever. However, or decision that you're trying to make on this, like, should I get rid of them? Shouldn't I? Who's this rat here trying to go after everything or trying to rat you out? Uh, maybe the situation is was not taking – it's taking a, a lot longer than what you had expected. However, you will be coming out of this triumphant. 
All right. Slow and steady wins the race. You got 10 there. Completion of cycle. Also have a page here and a page here. <laughs> All right. Page of swords, uh, page of cups there. Also, too, something is really screaming out Capricorn to me. All right. But this is just, this is going to be really interesting to see. Two, uh, yeah, two younger people possibly fighting over you, or maybe they are older but act younger at heart, or possibly you have contenders that you don't even know about, all right, or possibly this could be for business and people have got their eye on you. So congratulations, that is awesome, and uh, well, I'll see you all around.